Welcome to another episode of Video Game Reviews, and today we're going to be talking about Oli Oli Switch Stance on the Nintendo Switch, appropriately enough. So, uh, this is a 2D pixel art skateboarding game, and uh, I can't. I got this on a pretty good deal. I can't remember what it was, how like exactly how much it was. Uh, but let's let's get right to it. So it starts off. Uh, pretty fun, honestly. Pretty. I for the most part, I I had a really enjoyable experience. Uh, but uh, the long and short of it is, by the end of the game, I have to say that I don't, I don't really recommend it. I mean, for the price, I guess you could do worse. Uh, potential, like if it's on sale, definitely I I, I wouldn't pay full price for this. Uh, but part of the reason for that is by the end of the game what I realized is that I was essentially playing an entire game of uh, okay and here comes a game refer like a reference to another game so some of you might get it some of you might not but there's an infamous level in uh, it's either one of the Mega Man or Mega Man X games uh, and uh, it's it's the one uh, that goes jump 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 slide 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 jump slide jump slide that one okay and you're either gonna know what I'm talking about or you're not but um, that is not a good thing that that level is famous because people by and large hate that level and what I realized by the end of this game especially when the difficulty ramps up is that it's like someone made an entire game out of that level and instead of Mega Man they just themed it as a skateboarding game but as far as the gameplay goes it's basically like you're playing that level of Mega Man uh, which is not a compliment really okay now they disguised the game this Ali Ali game they disguised it well enough for a while, you could play the game conceivably and never realize that you're actually playing the most annoying level for Mega Man ever. Uh, but eventually, that that realization should click for you because that's what it is. Um, so it's not the worst. It's not like I had zero enjoyment from this game. There were times when I was having a pretty good time with it, but um, at the end of the day, I just I don't recommend it. So, I mean, it, it, I guess in some, uh, some of the things that I've read, it actually, like, kind of subtly trash talks Tony Hawk. But here's the thing about Tony Hawk. It's, um, you generally have a, a lot more freedom. It, I mean, I haven't kept up with the Tony Hawk series, but I know in some of the earliest games in that series, like, you, you had a good bit of freedom. And it was, you were just skating around, and, you know, you collect things and do tricks, but you kind of make your own way through the level and, and that worked really well and here it's just jump slide jump slide uh, only without the you know the voice prompting you to do that anyway look bro that's uh, that's all that I really have to say about this game I just wanted to let you know that it exists and kind of what's up with it and now that I've done that um, thanks for watching like subscribe hit the bell please uh, I appreciate your viewership and I will see you next time, probably in a few weeks. Bye-bye.